All right, morning routine is finished. Now I just wanted to sit down and get a little candid with y'all. Talk about some exciting topics like money, loans, debt, all that fun adulting stuff. I checked my mail actually and my port card arrived and I want to thank port for sponsoring today's video. So basically in 2021, I just want to put more energy into my financial journey, which is why I signed up for port. This year, I just want to aggressively save and that's my mission. I bought my parents a house last year. As a daughter, I felt so fulfilled because I can finally see my parents live comfortably and happy in their new home. And it's just like a really exciting chapter for them. Uh, however, it kind of lit a fire up my butt and it made me realize like, okay, I need to start building a financial cushion for me again. Money is such a sensitive topic and everyone's financial situation is different, but I know what it feels like to have the pressure of a loan and debt behind your back, particularly student loan debt. I feel like that's not talked about enough because it is so overwhelming, so burdensome. So many student loan debt holders look at their financial situation in such a negative light compared to those without outstanding student debt. And it's hard, it feels like a huge impossible mountain that feels like an infinite time to chip away at. But the good news is that debts can be paid off eventually. You just need time, patience, a plan, and like a sprinkle of hustling and grinding. Port can help you on your journey to financial freedom. They offer tools, technology, and insights to help you wrangle what your situation is truly like. My personal favorite feature about the app is that Port helps me keep track of everything and keeps me accountable all in one place. Port members also have access to educational resources to learn more about the impact of small contributions. There's a feature they offer, which is called the True Debt Calculator. You just plug in how much money you owe, what you're paying, the interest, and then it will tell you how you can pay off debt faster. When you use Port, you're able to earn more with a 3% annual percentage yield savings account with no monthly maintenance fees. They also have a door to change program where members shop with a purpose. Basically, each time you use your card, Port donates on behalf of customers based on what they spend. Port can be a great tracker to help you think of a game plan and to keep you accountable on the debts you need to pay first. I am going to leave all the information in the description box on how you can sign up for Port today. Go check it out. store and I got the usual haul that I normally get but I also got a little something extra because I want to try and make a strawberry sando which is like a Japanese fruit sandwich it looks so delicious I've actually had the pleasure of eating one from my friend's sandwich company and it was so airy so perfect and honestly I'm just craving it and it looked pretty simple to make. It's only four ingredients. So I've got some brioche bread, sugar, and I just washed some strawberries and heavy whipping cream. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, this is thick. Oh my God, I am shook. It's really whipped. I didn't know making whipped cream is so easy. Mmm, this is so simple. I don't understand why anyone would buy the aerosol. Mmm, now that the whipped cream is done, I'm going to prepare a couple of strawberries. Hello, beautiful. I'm just cutting out the crust because it looks so much better. You know a sandwich is serious when the crusts are cut off. Come on. All right. So now I'm just gonna get the whipped cream and I'm gonna start placing it on the bread. Damn, my strawberries are abnormally large. I'm basically just putting the cream in all the nooks and crannies. Basically like spackling this sandwich up. And then, I guess we just pop this on. 
Wow, this is very tall. <laughs> so I'm just wrapping up my extremely tall sandwich and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. So it's been an hour. I am very excited to cut this baby open. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, this brings me so much joy. I can't believe I did this. It's showtime. I love how the light is perfectly shining on my strawberry sando. This is sinful. You can settle in with a relaxed and wakeful posture. up Sundays and Ben and I have our designated chores for Sunday cleanups and I just finished doing the bathrooms, vacuuming everything and I'm doing laundry right now. But I thought that I would take the liberty to clean out this pan. This has just been getting so grimy. I originally got this, the barkeeper's friend. I saw a bunch of great reviews on this, but now looking at the fine print, it says to not use on nonstick surfaces. I think I could save this for another thing, maybe like my sinks. So we're gonna have to go with an all natural route. I've got some baking soda. And they say to just like mix it with some water or olive oil. All right, let's give this a go. I mean, some of it is coming off, but this just seems like a losing battle. Like this is gonna take me ages. Like how did I even let this pan get this greasy? I don't understand. Now we're gonna try the vinegar water method. So it smells like ass because I've just been boiling vinegar. I can't tell if it's making a difference. I think the steam is working. I surrender, this is the best it's gonna get. It is an improvement from before, but it still, ugh, it still bothers me that there's just all this brown stuff on here. I'm just gonna let it go. I can't live my life scrubbing away forever. All right, so I'm currently on the rooftop with Ben. This is where we like to sometimes break apart our day. This was a discovery that Ben made over the summer. This was when like, you know, the lockdown was at its height and we were just trying to find every inch of this house that we could enjoy. And Ben's always been quite the adventurer. It's kind of, you know, when you're in uh, quarantine and uh, you're trying to mix things up. It's just a lovely little way to hang out, isn't it? Yeah, this is the situation. I'll show, I'll show them even better. We just laid out a couple of blankets. These chairs from Target have been so clutch. Fantastic. I got them for like a shoot as a prop and we literally take them everywhere. I'm getting really behind on the New Yorkers. It's really hard to keep up. They seem to arrive every day, don't they? I know, right? I like how this is a double issue. We've got January 4th and 11th, so what about you? I'm gonna do a bit of reading and 
just writing up the next the next video, you know. Oh. It makes you feel more inspired when you're out getting some fresh air and got the breeze. So as you can see, I am cutting up some potatoes because Ben and I are having a fry off. Fry off. Fry off. We're having a competition. Mm -hmm. We both get a potato each. Mm -hmm. Do what you like with it. Who can make the best fry? So Jen, what, let explain what fry you're gonna go for. Well, I'm gonna go for the classic air fry fry. <laughs> I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the potatoes in the air fryer, but I need to blanch them first. So I'm just gonna soak them in water for 20 minutes and that's just going to take out the starch and it's gonna make them extra crispy. Wow. And then I'm also gonna put cheese on it. It's gonna be cheese fries. That sounds great, babe. It's gonna be good. What, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make, um, well, I'm gonna have fish and chips for dinner. We've got a gold beer battered fish. So, and you know, in England we have big old chunky chips. A bit salt and vinegar and all that. So I'm gonna go for a traditional fish and chip chip and you're gonna do an air fry fry. You guys can decide who wins. Yeah. I already won in my head. Oh. Don't wanna sound arrogant, oh, but arrogant. I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. Oh, I think it's clear who won. It's not about the cover of the book, it's what's inside the book. You made a fry tower. I've never made a fry tower before. I've eaten in, you know, like a bistro pub in England. They do a good, you know, like a gourmet fish and chips. They might every now and again do that, but yours look good, babe. Thanks. I put some vegan cheese on it. It's like the most gooey vegan cheese. I think it, it tastes really realistic. And the fact that it gets gooey and it just tastes like cheese is mm. good job. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yours is mm. yours is superior. That cheese is wow. great on that. The fries are great there. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Yours is phenom. Hmm? Mm. Proper malt vinegar. I think I, I win for health and you win for the taste, yeah? So we both draw. <laughs> We're both winners in a way. Yeah. Oh my god, the fish is really good. What the heck? It's literally been in the freezer for like months. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> No, better than most fish and chips I've had in America. No. <laughs> mm. There surprisingly isn't that much laundry this week. Sunday is wrapping up and I feel good. I feel nice and fed and I feel prepared for the week ahead. I have like a slight casual announcement. I am no longer uploading on Sundays. I think in 2021, I wanna start uploading on Fridays. Why the shift, you ask? I think I would really just prefer to keep my Sundays unplugged. I don't know, it'd just be nice to have the weekend be like a pure weekend. I think it'd be good because on Friday, I'll still be in like work mode, but then I'm also like close to the weekend. I don't know, I think, I think Fridays will make sense. And if I do upload two times in one week, then I think I'll do Tuesdays and Fridays. I think that'll give me enough space. So that way like on Monday, I'll like have enough time to like edit it on Tuesday. I don't know, so I think, okay, so hold on. Long story short, I'm gonna try, my main upload date will be on Friday now. And then if I have a little bonus Jonas video, that will be uploaded on Tuesday. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As you guys can see, it's uh, the new year, but my routine is pretty much the same. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.